Alright, hi everybody. Um, I, before I start the video, I want to tell you that I am using a different camera. It's the old camera, the Canon PowerShot A3, PowerShot A3100 IS. So, today, yesterday actually, my dad screwed up the MP rotator on this one with the lawnmower. The reason why there's one on it right now is because I took the one from the Hunter Pro Spray because I wanted to put an MP1000 360 on it. So, I am going to get this little trash can and uh, replace it and then test it. Here's the part of the MP rotator, one of the parts, and by the way, this ring is actually made of metal, it's not plastic. So I put this nozzle on there temporarily. It's a Rainbird nozzle, it's a 90 degree. So maybe if I can get it up. Come on. It's ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna go get a screwdriver. Alright, I have the flathead screwdriver, and now I am just going to put it in and lift it up. This is only a two inch. So, need to be careful not to drop it. How tight did I put this thing on? Jeez. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm going to... I have the MP rotator tool, too. So, here's the new rotator. The MP1000 360. So, pull it up. Unscrew it. There we go. And now... Should be good. All right, I have the MP Rotator 1000 on there, 360 degrees. And um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I got a 1000 because this only needs to spray like. All right, there's the dogs, but this only needs to spray the 15 feet. So let's go. All right, zone seven, two minutes. And actually, nah. All right, here we go. All right. Well, there they are. They're on. So let's go adjust. This looks like it's on its lowest setting. Whoa. So let's turn that up. I'm just going to keep turning it until it doesn't seem to go any farther. And there we go. There you go. And there's your our uh, MP2000. There's the 1000. And, uh, sprays out to here, which is a good distance. Uh, I'm actually going to go in and adjust this. Make it spray a little farther. I need this to spray as far as it can. It's on the Orbit hardtop, by the way. Can I actually change the arc? Let me see. Nah, that arc thing doesn't do anything. Alright. 
so here's the MP1000. Uh, it doesn't spray very far, but that's okay because it sprays far enough. It's good for optimal head-to-head -head coverage that I need here because it's only 10 foot spaced apart. 10 feet spaced apart. Whoa, we're getting wet. That's okay because I don't care. It's hot today. So, yeah, there they go. My voice kind of cracked. And now I am going to show you that one right there, PGJ. I'm going to show you what it covers. Uh, I have the MP tool right here. I'm just going to leave that right there. There's my shoes. I took those off. I should put my foot flops on. Okay. Now. Let's go. Five. Whoops, five. So there's the PGJ, and it covers all of these dry spots right here. Why the heck is the nozzle leaking? Ah! Need to fix that really quick. There's the MP3000. Well, the uh, set screw, the arc screw isn't set down enough to hold the nozzle and so it's leaking. I'll try to do this with my hand. I left my screwdriver out there. Ah, all right. I'll just get another one. <coughs> Actually, I'll use the pry bar. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna be keeping the tools in there anymore. I think I'm gonna move them somewhere else. So let's put this back on. I kind of didn't catch that. Oh well. So, now, I am going to, remember what I did with the, uh, uh, the Saturn 3? I'm going to do that with this. I'm going to put the camera right there, and then go turn it on. to fix this. So, let's tighten down that screw. Push in the nozzle all the way first. There. Now, as you can see, it does not leak anymore. And this is a good sprinkler for what we need it for. So, it just goes like 16 feet. It covers all of these dry spots right here. As you can see, they're all wet. And it just barely get, gets that one. There's the streams from the MP3000. And this is where the rotators cover. There's my other screwdriver. And I think this is going, this is actually the second to last episode of Sprinkler Stuff Season 1. A lot of people seem to like it, so I'm definitely going to be doing it again next year. This is probably going to be the first one we replace next year. We're going to most likely replace it with a another Hunter PGJ. And here's the uh, MP rotator I put over here. And these branches are blocking it. Yeah, get over there. All right. I think I'm done. I just want to do one more test of the uh, new MP rotator that I put in just to be sure that it does what it needs to.
Seven. Why is it not working? There we go. Oh, there goes my watch. Let's start. I have the wrong tool in my hand. That is okay because I have the MP tool right here. And uh, that one did use to spray over the fence. I don't think it does anymore though. Uh, it does. I'm going to have to fix that. So, make this spray as far as it can go. There we go. I think that's as far as it's going to go. And it covers where it needs to. So, that's good. This one rotates pretty fast. It's not. Doesn't, it doesn't go over the fence. It just barely, yeah, it just hits the top of that, so it doesn't go over. So I actually don't need to fix that. There's that one. Here's this one. As you can see, it's a cool ro rotor. It's actually technically a rotor, but it's the size of a nozzle, so it's basically like kind of a mini rotor, I guess you can call it. Those are going to definitely, might, might be replaced next year, next season. The next season starts uh, May 2014. So, and the last video of the season is going to be winterizing. So, I really hoped you all liked this season. And uh, come back next year for the next one, I guess. But you can stay for the winter because. I'm pretty sure you all know why, but if you don't, fire alarm videos are coming up. And then you get system power. I'm going to get power on my fire alarm system. And it's just going to be epic. So, uh, I guess that's it for the season. Second well, to last episode for the season. Uh, next, next video, which is won't be until like near the end of September. I don't know really actually. Oh, Grasshopper. I'm not exactly going to call it the second to last episode yet because I might, I don't know for sure, but I might, um, I might be, uh, doing another one this year, but I don't know for sure. So that rotator covers to the edge of here. As you can see, it's wet and it gets where it needs to. So. Uh, just, uh, keep watching my YouTube channel later this year for fire alarm videos and other ridiculous random videos. And that's probably going to be the first one we replace next year. Actually, that's not even true. The one in the front, the 12-inch Orbit, is going to be replaced next year. Because the, uh, the wiper seal leaks. That's probably never going to get replaced until it breaks. Um, this one over here, if I can find it, that one, is never going to get replaced unless it breaks, guaranteed. And, I'm sorry guys, but that one's probably going to be replaced next year too. So, I hope you like this season. And we've got pumpkins, by the way. That was like completely off topic. Maybe I'll do a video about that Halloween. I'll have to do a vlog at my... Actually, I'm going to Atlanta in October. October 4th. So I'll vlog at the airport. I'll vlog in the plane. I'll do a ton of crazy stuff. So, yeah. Um, we're going on October 4th. So, look forward to that. I'm also going to have to do a video at my aunt's house, who lives in Parker on Halloween because she always has an awesome setup there. I did one last year but I don't think I ever got around to uploading it. So I'll have to do that this year. And I'm kinda running out of stuff to show and talk about. So next year there's going to be another rotor added to our collection. Possibly maybe we might get a PGJ out in the front behind the bush. Um I'm actually going to 
run out in the front and show you why we're going to replace it. This is the one we're replacing. The reason why, I will show you when it pops up. The stem is uh, bigger than the wiper seal. So because of that, it leaks. And I will show you that right now. Um, we might replace it with a 12-inch PG, PGJ. That would be really cool. So there might possibly be two rotors added to our system. I don't think I'm ever going to put the rotor, Saturn III rotor back in. But please don't ask for it because I'm not selling it. They're still made so you can find them at like Home Depot, Lowe's or some other thing. Some other place. So, going back out in the garage, I have, I think it's on six. I'm going out front really quick. Off. This got out of alignment somehow, but it leaks out there sometimes, and we can't have that happening. It's not doing it right now, but it sometimes, oh dear, yeah, now it's doing it. See, see water's coming out of it, but we're going, what the heck, where's that coming from? This thing mists. We might replace this one next year. Uh, not exactly sure though. We we probably will though. With a two inch hunter. So spray. Oh, look at all those ants. And <laughs> they're evacuating. And yeah, so our whole system is probably going to become overrun with hunters soon. I just have no idea when that's going to happen. Oh wow, that one sprays over here. Huh. I didn't notice that. But here's this one. Um, that one might get replaced with a 12 inch PGJ. Or an I-20. I don't think I'm going to get an I-20 though. But I, I might get an I-20 though. I don't know for sure yet. It's very doubtful though. Oh look, and this is another reason why we're replacing this one. Might be replacing this one. Sticky riser. <laughs> Sticky riser. So, next year guys, it's going to be an awesome year. I know a lot more about sprinklers than I did this year. At the beginning of this year anyway. I know a lot more. Next year is going to be an awesome year for my sprinkler videos. So, this winter, fire alarm videos. Um, I'm going to try to do some tornado siren videos, kind of bring those back. Uh, do some of the, some videos of the ones in Lakewood. And my battery is about to die, so guys, um, at the end of the summer, uh, which is probably just going to be the winterization video. I'm going to do a video about how our lawn has done with the sprinklers. Like, if you watch my video where I was just throwing the science book around, you saw this was all brown. There was actually, this whole strip was dry. And that K-Rain was there. That K-Rain is no longer there, as you can see. We've replaced that one twice now. That's probably never going away. Nice, nice ones. I know I know why I stopped using this camera. It doesn't focus very well. Um, but winterization video will definitely be filmed with my iPod. I just didn't feel like doing the whole conversion process today. So, probably at the end of September, I'll do that. So, thank you for watching.